the important thing to remember is that this, this software is all open source software. So anybody can take a copy of the software, take the software, make their own copy of it, create their own product with it. That is just part of the nature of what this is right now. So if you have a group of cypherpunks that want to make something with it, they can do that. If you have a group of banks that want to take it and make something else with it, they can do that too. Uh, that is just going to be part and parcel of this industry and this sector. It is not going to go away. What will be interesting is to see who makes the better product. Um, one of the problems with this technology right now is it is still very much in its infancy. It is very much, it is not very user friendly. And people say, well, blockchain doesn't solve anything. Uh, all the systems we have now work fine. Why do we need this? And to an extent, they're right. Uh, the systems we have now are, we're used to them. We understand how they work. We're comfortable with them. What we, we don't have that yet with blockchain. No one has created, they keep talking about the killer app, the killer app, the killer app. No one has come up yet with a, a really kind of blockchain-based product that is so easy to use that you can stick it on your phone and start using it immediately and not even think about it. The real sort of race is going to be to see who can come up with the, the better product, the product that is easier to use, that is simpler to use, that kind of really just people, you know, uh, how many things in your life do you use now that you say, oh my God, I can't imagine. What was life like ever before, you know, ATMs? What was life like before cell phones? Yeah, there's so many of them, right? The person who makes a blockchain-based system that when people use it, they say that, that will be the person who wins.